Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will talk about how to SSH into your Google Cloud Platform Shell Console. There are three methods in which you can access that shell. The first one is through Chrome. So we'll go into Chrome and type Cloud Shell GCP. Then we'll go into Cloud Shell go to console and here we can see that we are running our project and we have our cloud shell running here notice that here we have a project name project ID we need these things in order to access it later so here I can see if I type ls I can see all my folders and files which I have in my cloud shell. Yes. The next method is through command prompt. So I will open my Windows terminal. I will launch it. I will open command prompt and here I can type G cloud cloud shell ssh what it will do it will s uh, cloud shell using putty it's a software which is used for ssh and here i can see i can change the project i can say g cloud config set project now here we have to type in the project ID that was demo project one zero seven. so I'm in my demo project if I uh, hit LS I can see all those files yes now the third one is using a custom one which we can build in our uh, Windows terminal so for for that we have to go in settings open the JSON file in VS code or any editor you prefer then go here and see that we have our PowerShell running we have a command prompt we have our Ubuntu Kali Linux and Azure so I'll go here I will type this with a semi uh, with a comma and then here I can do certain things I can name it I want to name it SSH into GCP shell I can say that do uh, do I want to hide it no so I say false or I can make a background image which is in my C directory and I have it as GCP PNG so far what we have done we have created a new tab which we can access it so if we go into our Windows terminal we have an SSH into GCP shell if I click it it comes to command prompt because that's the default one and notice the image here so if we want to change the opacity we can change it using over here background image opacity right now it's one if I uh, save it as zero I can see that it is not here but if I type in like 0 0.5 and save it and go into my GCP shell we can see that its opacity is 0 0.5 I usually prefer 0 0.2 because it helps me read what's written in front of that if I save it and go into my so that's the opacity now we want to SSH into our cloud shell not in our CMD prompt so for that we have to make sure we have the following things we will go into Chrome 
we will say G cloud SDK it's a software development kit and we hit interactive installation so from here we can install our Google Cloud SDK we have to hit cloud SDK installer or we can run a PowerShell command so hit cloud SDK installer it will install it it's an exe file if I run if I run this and I say next and I agree for my single user next where I have want to store it next what should be there I want beta commands or components or not those are in still in production and they're testing it out so I will hit install and it will install it for me. and then we have to do something then I will CD into root then I will see it into my home then into my user which is sad if I hit ls there is nothing in it now I will create a file ssh g cloud environment just so that we can remember it it's a shell script now if I go nano ssh g cloud environment shell script I can create certain things for that so the first command is so the first command is gcloud auth login and we will write here dollar one for the first argument which we'll give there so the second command is gcloud config set project and then the second argument the last command is gcloud which we, ra we ran in our command prompt it's gcloud cloud shell ssh so we'll type here gcloud cloud shell ssh and hit control x y for saving and enter so if i cat my ssh gcloud i have the following command now I will clear it now I, I have that running in my in my Ubuntu I'll go back to my VS code I will now here say command line and here we can type the command which will run that tab so I will type WSL for the Ubuntu then my home user and then I will give the name SSH G cloud env dot sh notice we gave there two commands and we'll give two arguments the first one is our user email the next one is the project id the project name which was demo project 107 we have that and if I save it go back to my terminal SSH close it and then run it again notice we are getting a bin bash error that we have permission denied so we'll go back in our into we will say ls we have the file SSH G cloud environment shell in order to make it executable we will type chmod plus x to make it execu executable and then we will type ssh gcloud environment shell script now we have permission acceptable so we'll clo uh, close this and open it again notice we have something opening now we can see it has loaded now it will take some time but it will load i can guarantee that so if i hit ls I have the same thing same f folders and all that I can say clear and it's my cloud shell which I'm running which I, c I have I'm running in my tab so we can do some modifications like if I go in my VS code we can do some modifications like I like I say icon I can set the image I will use the same image is my icon 
and if I go back here we can see the icon and it this uh, changing is on the spot if I say it for another image and hit save the image changes on the spot So in this video, I talked about how to access your Google Cloud Shell using Chrome, using Command Prompt and using a custom tab in Windows Terminal which is pretty easy. So if I want to change my project, I will say gcloud config set project and name of the project in which case in this case I have types stable which was generated by a default equator two eight eight two zero two. If I hit enter, the project has changed from demo project one zero seven to stable equator, and I have the same files there as well. So, yes. Thank you for watching, and I hope I was able to explain how to you SSH into your Google Cloud Shell using Command Prompt, Chrome and a custom Windows Terminal tab. Thanks for watching.